Okay, um, so obviously this isn't... I don't know. Anyway, obviously this isn't um, Epic 7. This is Crossing Void for any of you who um, played this uh, when it was coming out or uh, heard of it at the time. Uh, currently, it's uh, it's not dead, but it's certainly not as active as it was at, the, at that time. And it's sort of just kind of... I feel like it's just kind of hanging on. Like, there are some people playing it, but there's certain modes that I can't play and I certain things, certain missions I can't accomplish because, like, no one's playing the game because I've been sitting there for, like, half an hour. Um, so, yeah, obviously... Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so I played this game when it first came out, and as you can see here, I have uh, Alice, who is my favorite character from this game. Uh, I don't like Sword Art Online because it's, it's really bad, but... Um, I do like this character. I mean, I, I don't know anything about her. Uh, all I know is that I like the skills that she has, and um, she seemed really strong at the time, so I decided to pull. This is not a free-to-play account. I guess I kind of wailed. I bought, like, the pack that gives you her, and then it gives you enough Maigo to, like, uh, to do her little, like... Because once you when, you when they have a limited character, they come with, like, a limited... Uh, a limited, uh, like, path of missions to complete that helps you level up the whatever so i don't mind gonna buy that and that right so um again i mean you can say i wailed and and that's you know i i, I wouldn't like argue that but uh, yeah that was basically the main thing i bought was i really wanted her and i really i wanted to get that whole thing out of the way and, and have at least like a very strong limited character um going into going into you know the beginning of this game right like imagine if you started the game in epic 7 with like um ssb right when you first started the game imagine like ssb was like one of your first units and she would just carry you through a lot of content so something kind of like that um so that's kind of why uh i dropped it i haven't been i mean it's not like i've been playing this in the background or anything i dropped it like a long time ago like i don't know maybe like i dropped it for those of you who know a timeline maybe around I have no idea. It was around the time, um, right before uh, uh, New Year's or Kimono Asuna came out. Right before that, because I didn't summon for her. Um, but that's when I stopped playing the game, because at that point we had like... So Alice came out and she was the only limited unit at the time. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, but then they released like three or four limited units after her, and then Asuna was in line again for another one. And I was like, okay, well, obviously they're just trying to milk us, and I just decided... Um, wasn't that good. I mean, I had a lot of things that I liked over Epic 7, so I would have played this game continually if, if they weren't so, like, greedy, to, you know, at the outset. I mean, you know, Epic 7 only had, like, uh, SSB didn't come out till later. The first limited units they had were collab units, and they were limited because they were part of a collab, not because it's like, oh, here's a really powerful unit we're dumping on you. It was a collab, and, you know, they were limited because they were, you know, the right licensing rights and all that stuff. Uh, but here, it's just like, Here's all these overpowered limited units that are already part of... They're not part of, like, the, 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 the game, but, like, Alice isn't a crossover. She was already part of Sword Art Online, and Sword Art Online is already in the game. But anyway, that that gripe aside, um, we're here just to do some summoning. Um, I, I recently started playing it again, so I, I stopped when I re hit account level 60, and that was right before um, Kimono Asuna came out. Uh, and then I came back, and I've only gotten one extra level... Um, because level 60 was the cap at the time, and then later they improved it. They actually changed quite a lot in this game, which I had to, like, re-catch up on. Uh, but see, yeah, that's a little history. Um, all this stuff came out of nowhere. Like, I came back, and I had apparently, like, 10 million gold or something. How much is this? Uh, let's see. Yeah, 10 million gold. I had that much, like, I had just a bunch of gold laying around and a bunch of Maigo I hadn't spent. Um, but yeah, like, it was, like, I had 5,000. I haven't paid for any more Maigo since then. I don't know why I won't capture my thing. I haven't paid for any more Maigo since then, and I have 5,000, so, like, it kind of attests to how much, like, I really disliked how this game was being run, that I left with, like, that much Maigo on the table. Like, I wasn't even like, I'm gonna spend it and, and make sure, no, I just, I was just like, nah, I'm done, I'm out, I'm not doing this. Uh, but I came back, because, like I said, they, like, 5,000, I just want to see how much that is. Look at that, that's $80 worth of, like, pre uh, currency, obviously 50, or half of it's basically uh, premium, and then half of it's free. But basically, I left with, like, 80 bucks just there. Um, is, is how bad of a taste it's left in my mouth. But coming back, now that, like, you're not, like, competing with other people and it's just like, oh, we gotta get all the limited units, you just kind of, I'm just kind of playing it casually, and fortunately I have the unit I wanted the most, uh, the second unit being, um, Kimono Asuna, but, you know, obviously she's limited. Um, but yeah, so her and her, um, are fine. Uh, but I just came back and started playing, and, uh, you know, it's as fun as it was at the time, I just didn't like the business practices, and it's also, like, I might get into, like, some differences in some of the things they do to help, like, make the game less annoying to play. 
Um, but yeah, for today we're just gonna do some simple summoning because uh, I did have a lot of. I also like on top of having eighty dollars worth of Mygo, I also I also left apparently with like one hundred and twenty. Uh, 100 almost almost 120. Yeah, well, I had 120. I spent some, and then I was just like, "Wait a minute, I can make a video about this." Even though I mean, Crossing Void isn't that popular. Hopefully, maybe we can get some people back on the. Uh, there, there she is. I went for her just because I don't have her, and she crosses Yuki Main. I forgot why I, I put her there, um, but just because I don't have her is one of the main reasons. Uh, and then here, I need her because she's a really good uh, support. Uh, but anyway, so let's uh, let's just summon because um, I need imprints, right? Um, and you can't use these unlimited summons anyway, right? So if you can come back over here, if we go to notices, so you know this is how you know this game's still alive because you come over here to notices and apparently index, yeah, support index is a limited unit, and she's she's coming back or, or she's coming through here. So so I thought that was kind of interesting. So this game is very much still alive. They're still having events going on, like you know. 923 to 1018 this event is happening. It's actually like a crazy ass event. Like you have to go there's a lot of stuff to do on there. I'm I'm just gonna ignore it while I'm getting back on track. Uh, which is kind of what you want to do. Like if you're if you're a new player, right? If you're going to Epic 7 or something, you don't want to like Alright, how do I do this? And then let's go do the side story. It's kind of just like ignore the side story, do the main story, and, and then you know, do the, get the fundamentals down before you start worrying about side stories and whatnot. Uh, so anyway, like I said, seeing as I'm coming back, um I wanted to I wanted to just do some summons and like like I said, I need impression. I need impression weapons and I also need um like uh, those those fragments, right? So anything would be good and you know any 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 five stars on the way would be awesome too. Um so yeah that's what we're here to do. We're here to summon and um we'll get right into it. Uh, somehow I actually kinda like the music in this one better than Epic Seven, but maybe that's just me. I like the acoustic uh, guitar in the background. So we have uh, three till we get our A, so what I'm gonna do is just summon three real quick. And then we'll do tens after that, just because uh, the summoning animation in this game can be kind of long and kind of annoying to watch over and over again. Uh, so we're just gonna blow all these, because again, th that like this gotcha, this basic gotcha is all these vouchers are good for, because you can't use them on a limited uh, banner. Uh, so there's our purple. Um, I hate these robots so much; they're just here to like take up space. Um, wait, do these use these? See, these, like even then, so like whenever they had like they had this, and you can pick your own like. You can you can pick your own banner essentially, so you can pick your five star that you want, and then all the four stars or whatever under it, which is pretty good, um, pretty fun, consumer friendly kind of. Um, but again, it uses its own resources, which you can't get. You just have to spend your your Mygo on it, so you have to spend 150. Um, and then again, uh, this thing is here, which is also pretty good, is your perfect ten. Like, you just pick, you know, you keep rolling this. You can keep rolling this forever. I, I, I kind of left it on here in case I ever want to, but I probably won't just because the game's kind of, it's not dead, but like, it's really not worth spending money on. Um, but what was I saying? Um, the main thing being, um, yeah, you can keep shuffling this. It's basically like the, 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 what's it called? The selective summon, but like you can keep doing it and you know, for $10, you can just pick whichever one you want, right? So basically make it as good as you want. Um, but yeah, so let's get in here. Um, what would I like? Uh, hopefully I'd, I'd, I'd take her. I think she's, his name is Makoto. I don't know a lot of the names of these characters yet so far. I don't have them all memorized. The Shana would be nice. Um, she's pretty, she, I, I like her, but she's not that good. Um, but I, I'm still glad to have her, uh, a rarity bump on her. Uh, Shana would be nice to get. Um, finally got another copy of that one. I need more copies of her. Um, she's pretty strong. So let's go back. Let's do this again. Uh, who else would I would be good as a as a five star? Let's see if we get anything. So you know you don't have a a five star if she doesn't like go super saiyan because you'll see yellow energy coming out of her. Um, so we only got purples. We got these hues, and we got another copy of her, which is pretty crazy. So I guess we might build um, her at some point. Uh, so you can see this animation, like imagine going through this animation, like this animation plays every single time if you do one at a time, which is really annoying. Um, so obviously more asanas is good. Um, I like her as a front DPS. Um, she's just fun to use. Uh, she's not really that good because most like your tank is going to be in the front, right? Um, though in this game, positioning isn't really that important because um, like it's not that hard to just hit backline and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of that. Uh, let's see. So oh, we got a hollow hue here. 
Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead. Uh, I guess Asuna at uh, S rank would be pretty good. Makoto would be pretty good. I just like Makoto. Oh, we got an S. So I guess she didn't. Did she? She didn't glow, did she? I. Oh, okay. We got an awakening. I didn't. Oh, I forgot I had that guy. To get, of all the units to get an awakening for. Um. It would have been that guy. <sighs> Gosh damn. So we're just gonna burn them all, just cause, like I said, I mean, uh, yeah. Who cares? Come on, piss off. Are you really gonna make me? No, piss off. Oh my gosh. Yes, I don't care. Get away. I hate this game already. Just, just because it's making me do this, I'm just gonna, like... <sighs> Piss right off, dude. Seriously. Gosh, damn. There you go. <laughs> I've never been mad before, but... Um, they, they managed to piss me off. <laughs> Um, so hopefully we can get another, uh, I guess that was kind of strange, it, it should have given me, uh, like, she should have, like, lit up with lightning around her, like, yellow lightning, but I guess not. Uh, look, there's another taiga, uh, I actually have a, a uh, and, and I probably go through, oh, actually, it's the wrong taiga, never mind. I actually, I could probably go through my barracks and, like, show you guys what units I have and what I don't have, um, but I need more Kirito's, because I need the assist Kirito to go with, um, to go with, uh, Alice, because it's Kirito's. I think personally, I think Kirito's probably the best um, assist to give her, um, just because it gives her a, a three point, uh, a three point attack. Which in if you're you can either you can put the shield up and still have decent damage with Kirito uh, at the three point attack thing, uh, or you could um, use their their link skill, which actually gives you more attack. And we got this purple dude. I kind of wanted this guy uh, as an S rank, but. Apparently he's not very good because I started looking at like tier lists and just people talking about it in general and apparently he's just not that good. Ooh, I'd, I'd put that on her. Um, Akko. Akko's pretty good, but you kind of want more damage usually. Um, obviously I'm not like trying to review the game or tell you how to play the game or anything, but you know. If I can uh, add a few uh, tips here and there, then you know, certainly I don't think it'd be a bad thing. Uh, I used to use her. She's actually like level 40 or something, but she's really bad. Hey, I got one, so I don't have to do that. I don't have to pay for that. I mean, she's not five star, mind you, but like, <laughs> this is already pretty good. Especially because in this game, you can turn everyone into a five star. See, I skipped that. I skipped it that time. I don't think it'll let you skip if you get the lightning, which I'm curious about. Wow, I've gotten like three of her already. That's crazy. Uh, one of the other reasons um, I have so many tickets is not necessarily because of like. This game just hands them out that much. It's actually, they're kind of rare. It's just that I haven't used any summon tickets since the beginning of the game. Um, because there was nothing to summon other than the limited units, right? And you basically got most of, like, the good stuff through story or through whatever reason, right? Um, and so you basically just got, like, a bunch of characters anyway. And then, you know, the, if you wanted the limited character, then you would just go and pull for the limited character, which was Alice at the time, of course. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, oh, that's actually a support Akko. That's hilarious. They just like put like imagine if you're if you're pulling on the Landy banner and then like you just they just give you a penguin in there. Like what is what what is this about? As you can see, th this game isn't perfect. Of course, um, I know everyone says that about like everything. It's like oh, this isn't perfect, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, so this game is like you know it's a give and take. It's really weird. Um, some of the decisions they make. Hey, we got this crazy dude. This crazy looking guy. He's a sub. I thought he was um, I thought he was a a main. I remember some people were summoning for him at the time, at some point. Um, so Miyuki merges. We could always use more of those. Um, zero merges, of course. Uh, let's minus two and then uh, do that. So let's just burn the last eight of them. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we missed it or something. Or maybe I guess I just missed it. Uh, she's good because um, both of her her mer her um, her character units are pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's 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 about it, I guess. Uh, we don't have anything else. Uh, I think oh, I don't know where it says whether your where your um, the pity is. 
as you can see here, all these are all the like all these are you, they're available in. Is this guy see this is a main one right down here is the support one. Or what am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, so if it's a support, it'll say support here. So the, he he is a main. Okay, he can be a main. It's just that the one I pulled was a support. Uh, yeah. See, I needed her because I still don't have her either. Um, I need what I really need is like a support version of her, so she can go with um. The she can go with the asana from the 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 kimono asana whenever she comes back. If she comes back again, I'm not sure. Like, like this game obviously isn't dead, but I'm not sure how like alive it is. <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it uh, there. Lucky value seventy five. I don't know what these numbers mean. Uh, obviously, probability is three point seven to get a three uh, uh, an S rank. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that wasn't too boring. Um, like I said, I, I I'm not gonna like. I don't think I'm gonna start making like a bunch of content for this because I still have a long way to go to get to like where I am in relative to Epic Seven, right? Epic Seven, I'm basically at the end game already, and just all I'm doing is grinding hunts and and analyzing units. I'm not really at that here, right here. I don't even have like a team built, like an end game team built, right? I'm, I'm like still working on them. Uh, my highest level is 61. My highest level unit is 61. That's Alice. Um, and she's still missing a bunch of stuff, so we can... And here's all the units I got, so let's just get out and go back. So if you can see here, we have Alice, and she's 6-star, uh, level 61, because this is reflective of your level cap, so as the level cap goes up, you can level up your units more. Uh, her skills aren't fully maxed, her gear is kind of crap. Um, I don't know, this psych thing, I don't know if this was there at the beginning of the game, but I don't know what it is, so that's at zero. Uh, my impression weapons are all crap because I only have one. Oh, I was supposed to go summon those too. I'll go summon those in a bit. Uh, obviously, she doesn't have any awakenings. Um, and the, whatever this Elementium thing came out, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, you just come back and suddenly it's like there's whole new mechanics everywhere. I forgot it's new on this con on this um, on my on my phone. I've been playing it, so like it knows all that stuff, but like it's explaining stuff to me because I'm new in the in this emulator. But like whatever this is, I don't know. This is weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go do some impression weapon summons if I can. Here we are. I don't have that many, but I have more than nothing, so we'll do it. Uh, apparently she's here, so maybe we'll try to get her. I don't know what she does. I don't know what any of these. Uh, I don't know what any of these weapons do, but having a weapon is probably better than having no weapon right now, especially because of I'm sure how it affects the. Uh... These will do these one at a time. Is it still gonna be? Oh, actually, oh, there's no animation here. You just summon. That's crazy. So there you go. It's a good thing we did it one at a time. You need 80 summons here. I forgot how much you need in the other one. Is it 120? I don't remember. Okay, so we're getting a lot of this powder stuff. Uh, we're getting a lot of this powder stuff too. A impression crystal. Yeah, I don't know how the weapons work and all that stuff. So that's like that's another mechanic that's like vital to the game that I need to like learn about and, and see figure out how, to, how it works and how to upgrade it because I'm getting like all these materials I have no idea what they do I don't know what any of this stuff is I'm just looking for weapons uh, but I guess weapons are pretty rare uh, we're about to burn our last one and not get a weapon yep we didn't get a weapon um but yeah so like I said uh hopefully this isn't too bad um I basically what I'm saving my goal for is um until the um the kimono asana comes out then i'm just gonna burn it all on her um like i said i mean one of the one of the things that like if we're talking about that like, kind of free-to-play or whatever like one of the things about a free-to-play game versus non-free-to-play game is if you look at epic seven you might say oh there's whales or whatever and that's all right right but it really is helpful to free-to-play players because your your gems kind of disappear into nothing really fast if you're if you're if you're in the middle tier right if you're like if you want to spend a bunch like your gems basically mean nothing right you need to either you need to either be a whale or be free to play now there's some middle ground like you can buy the monthly packs and those are very helpful um there's you know that supplemental income is definitely very good and there's like certain packs that are a good value like the the Molagora packs uh some of them and no the uh, no what are they the, the level up packs right so there's certain things that are like, hey, that's nice to have. I'll, I'll take that. And and I, I've bought some of those packs in Epic Seven, uh, but in here, one of the things that's like kind of devious about it is like 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 the, this right here. Epic Seven doesn't have anything like this, but like this is very good at like getting your money because it's like, oh, I'll just spend that to buy this to get the double, right? Because as long as it's double, may as well, right? Um, but 
when it's this easy to get this much power in the game, um, it becomes like, you know, it, it like it kind of squeezes the free-to-play people, right? So like, there's a lot more dolphins in this game, but then they kind of stomp on the free-to-play people. But you know, obviously, if you're a whale, there's not a whole lot of difference because you're basically, you know, we're all hitting the same thing. Especially because the caps here, I don't get, I don't want to like get too much into a review. But basically, the point being is. Sometimes when, when packs are not a total ripoff the way they are in Epic 7, because in Epic 7, all the packs are a total ripoff if you're looking for value. Except for, like I said, there's a few that are pretty good. But most of them, like most of like the buying Skystone stuff or like, let's see, like just, oh, this is pretty good, but you can buy that with gold, which is pretty great. Um, but most of like the weird, like whatever packs, like all these weird packs that you buy in Epic 7, a lot of them, like the, the ones you can buy every week, basically. Like the Mystic Metals and all that stuff. Like all that stuff is basically such a bad value that like, you either have to be a whale where you can buy all of them and still be okay about it, um, or just not buy any of them because there's no middle ground. Like there's no like, all right, I'm just gonna buy these three packs and I'm good because it's not worth it, right? Um, and in this game, you can really do that, right? There's a lot of stuff that you're just like, I can just buy this, and then you know you get a lot of benefit out of I just bought this thing, right? So you can spend um, like 20 bucks and you've already got you know 2600 mygo, right? And that's 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 quite a lot, especially if you're like summoning for um, the, the limited units that come out, right? Um, so that's that. Um, like I said, I don't mean to say this isn't like a really super bad free-to-play game, but there's a reason why it kind of died, right? There's a reason why none of the, like, because I remember, cause you, for those of you who remember who were here, when this game first came out, like all the YouTubers like jumped on it and they're like, oh, this game is amazing, but they do that all the time, right? So if you watch like Mango or uh, uh, if you watch um, like Demon came at the time, um, people like, um, oh, what's his name? I forget his name. Well, basically, people who start branching out into other games, I think... I'm not sure if uh, Astronox played this game. He's just kind of playing Epic 7, like, five times on different accounts. Um, but basically, most of the people who are into, like, the mobile game scene that played this game... I forget his name. He's Shion, right? Shion. Uh, for anyone who watches that guy. Um, they all kind of just, like, check out these games, and they kind of move on. Um, and I kind of decided to check this game out, and I really liked it. Um, but then, little did I know, they were going to go full hog into the whole, like, just pay-to-win thing. Um... But, I, sh I mean, I should have known when it was so easy to, like, just... Oh, here's the unit. Let me just get it real quick. Um, but, yeah, so, like, everyone kind of jumped on it. And then, like, after a few months or whatever, they just kind of left. Um, and that was fine. Um, but it's important to realize why that happens. Why people didn't play this game as long as they play Epic 7. Because as, as much as Epic 7 it has a lot of the problems that, like, every other gacha has, they just do it a lot better in terms of, like, how they keep the free-to-play involved. Which... It's important to realize that the free-to-play are still valuable because they're what everyone plays, right? They're the, how the word gets spread out, like, they're how the mentality goes, like, when people make videos, it's like people watch those videos and then it causes people to make more videos, right? So Genshin exploded so much because, for one, it was such a casual game as on top of being, like, a hard, like a decently hardcore game. Obviously, it was, like, people were complaining because it wasn't enough end game. But Genshin kind of got to where it was because people were, like, making videos on it and then it exploded and then... Like, all the free-to-players were looking for videos and looking for how to do stuff because they can't just, like, pay their way through. So they're trying to min-max and they're doing all kinds of research. Um, and, you know, the fact that it helped the free-to-play players so much, like, retain the audience. And then the YouTubers will keep making videos on Genshin. Like, there's a lot of Genshin people who made videos and still make videos at this at the point now um, about Genshin. Not necessarily because Genshin is, like, the best gacha, but because... If they make a video on another game, they're not going to get as many views as they get on, on Genshin. So, you know, it's kind of like a snowball effect, right? So at first, you know, YouTubers jump on and then the snowball gets bigger. And then, you know, like the, the masses get on and then the snowball gets bigger. Um, and then the snowball is too big to stop at some point, right? But sometimes, you know, <laughs> crossing void and, and when, when you don't do it right, when you don't cater to the, the free-to-play people and like the mid-tier people enough, um, crossing void happens where it's just like... You just kind of leave. There's really not a whole lot here for you. Um, that's that's all I wanted to say. Was like just a few summoning videos and uh, a few summonings and uh, explaining what's up with this game and and and, and whatnot. So I, mainly the reason I picked up this game again is because I'm looking for something else. Because uh, obviously I stopped playing um, Fire Emblem Heroes recently, so uh, I needed something else to kind of fill the void. Though um, Again, I don't know if how long I'm going to play this. I don't know if I'm going to get that serious on it. Uh, it might just be something fun to do on the side. Um, but there you go. Uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be. Uh, maybe some RTA stuff, but I'll see you guys then.